exactly is Muzan's wife and kid, and what happened to them? Was she actually Muzan's wife? Here's the truth. Muzan's wife's name is Rei, and the daughter is never identified. What you need to know though is that Rei was a very influential person. She had money and the connections to get money. And this is where Muzan steps in. As you've seen in the anime, Muzan can and has used many forms to blend into society. Particularly, this child whose role it was to develop medicine to conquer the sun, a geisha to gather information on the blue spider lily, and his male form to collect data and secure funding where his geisha couldn't. So if you put two and two together, Muzan in his human form married Rei for her money. They have a kid and it's as simple as that. Maybe Rei even lives happily ever after. I wish it was as simple as that because before meeting Muzan, Rei was actually married. Now, it's not said if her daughter comes from this previous marriage, but it's assumed so. However, we do know what happened to Rei's husband. Muzan ended his life, but didn't steal his identity. Rei only knew of Muzan in his human form, because on Muzan's account, according to the canon fan books, while he could have assumed the identity of Rei's husband, he didn't to avoid suspicion. Now this next part is a bit of me putting the pieces together, because it's kinda unclear what happened after Muzan took her husband's life. But based on the context, one, it does seem that in the public eye, how Rei's husband passed away was left as a cold case. That is, unless Muzan framed an innocent man. Two, after Muzan did the deed, time passed, and he slowly worked his way into Rei's life, leading to three, Rei is happily married and unaware of the truth of her husband's unaliving and who Muzan really is. But what happened to her? What happened to her daughter? Sadly, it's the same that happened to all the others. Throughout history, it's reported that Muzan was married at least five times, and in each of those marriages, due to constant verbal abuse, each of those wives ended up taking their own life. Although it's never been confirmed, Muzan likely tormented them day in and out until they couldn't take any more. Or did he? Minor spoiler warning, but Muzan was once human. And it could be possible that, like all the other demons in Demon Slayer, Muzan has a small inkling of his humanity left and craves connection like all demons do. And that could especially be the case due to his tragic upbringing. Muzan was born without a breath, still born, and he was given up on by his family. And while he can't remember a single human he's taken out, their feelings pass on to him, ruin him, and move him. So what feelings did his wives pass on to him? Could it have been something that kept Rei alive? Something that moved Muzan to not torture her and her daughter? Because when you really look at it, Rei showed no fear towards Muzan. Rather, she looked at Muzan for protection. So in that, what if Muzan genuinely cared about Rei and her daughter? And unlike all the humans who have come across the Demon King, Rei and her daughter actually lived. What do you think? 